Hello YouTube. Um today is gonna be the start of um the three part intro tutorial which I said I will be making a long time ago but I never had the time to make so yeah so this part is gonna be the cinema four D part of it. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to do the animation in cinema four D and the second part will be showing you guys how to do the twitches and flares or any other effect in um after effects adobe after effects and the third part the final third part will be showing you how to add sound effects into um sound effects into the intro using sony vegas so basically this is going to be a full-on tutorial um showing you guys how to make an intro <coughs> yeah so let's just get started and yeah one more thing um thanks for 900 subs much appreciate everybody um um, thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. Don't worry. I don't th don't think that I'm not appreciating all the support I'm you guys are giving me. So yeah, thanks for that. All right, so let's get started. What you're gonna do is, um, first of all, I'm just gonna change my running settings. So by clicking on that thing there, I'm gonna go to general, full render, output one two eight zero, and by seven two zero. So the width is one thousand two hundred and eighty. And the height is 720 and it's pixels make sure it's pixels all right now make the resolution to 100 frame rate 30 so that's 30 frames in one second leave this you're gonna change this later but for now just leave it how it is and save it on where you want it to be saved so um, I'm gonna name it intro tut and I'm gonna change it to quick time movie and I want to click alpha channel and click straight channel alpha channel and then straight channel straight channel once you tick it it, it um, renders the uh, renders the uh, intro without a background so yeah and cross it now what you want to do is um, adjust your angle to um, the way you want your intro to be so according to you can use these three top tools at the bottom you got here <coughs> so yeah let's get started by adding in our text so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to bring in two letters. You can two letters from one corner of the screen and one from the other corner of the screen. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna add in two letters. So I'm gonna go ahead up to over to more graph and text object. First letter will be let's see. Um, I'll just do A and B for now. Alright, take first letters text and then move that to the right as you can see if you go into a line and right and what you do is go more graph and add another letter and make that B and that's fine as it's to the left. Alright, what you do is now um I'm gonna just so it's easier to know I'm gonna change this to A. By double clicking on text object, you can change the name of the f of the layer, so you know it's easier to so it's easier. There's no need to click on it to see what it is. Well, first, go to A and change the depth to about 60, and do the same on B. Change the depth to about 60. Now, what you want to do is um, change. Go to if you go down, if you go ahead over to my channel and in the download section in the channel description there's a little download section which I've made and there is a cinema 4D cinema 4D materials pack and if you download that and download it and then go on file load materials and you'll see it's this one here and then open that up and you'll get all these materials so now what I'm just gonna show you guys is um, so yeah that's I ain't gonna show you guys how to make the materials um so yeah just download them from that all right now what you guys want to do now is change the font to each of your letters to what you want it to be so choose a good font um uh let's see how this is um nah i don't really like that all right i'm just gonna choose um baby actually no i'm gonna choose another font I'll choose agency FB. It's the best one ever. <laughs> All right, now you need to do is change the font on the B layer as well to the same thing, agency FB. So you can see I just did. If you enter that out, you can see the A and B. All right, 
now what I'm going to do is add um, caps to this so it gives it a nice little border which I can add in, and yet it's a different color so what you do is go into A go into A, go into caps, this is the attack caps tab go, um, go to start and change it to filler cap go to end and change it to filler cap and then change the radius to about 4 meters or 4 centimeters away, 4m and now do the same on B, go to caps, fill it cap, fill it cap on start and end and put it down to 4. Now change the color by just dragging in the color you want. So for this tutorial I'm just going to do B, A and B, I mean a blue. And then change, put in a different color which you want along the caps. So I'm going to put a chrome color so I'll just drag into the chrome onto the letters as well. And as you can see the chrome overlays it and the chrome is on the outside that's where we want the chrome to be so we need to do is click on the chrome press <clears throat> r1 i mean go to selection um go click on the chrome go to tags as you can see here and go into selections and type in r capital r and then one and then do the same on the on the b and as you can see the chrome is along the outside of each letter so now you want to add some lighting into it so um, I have um, the HDRI light, HDRI light I can't remember how to say anyways but you know the lighting that everyone uses so I'm going to be using that but if you do not have that you can use normal lights as well this one up here you can use that as well but I would highly, I would probably recommend you get this okay, there's videos all over YouTube on how to get it so yeah get it it's really useful so I don't want to add too much lighting because I don't want it taking too long to render so what I'm just going to do is add an overhead softbox and a ring light oh come on oh my days sorry it's taking long alright there you go I added an overhead softbox and a ring light as you can see I have not moved any of them that's why it's really dark what you need to do is using this arrow, I'm going to zoom out, and as you can see, the two the ring light and the overhead softbox above it. Now, what you need to do is using the blue arrow or heading over down here to chords, bring it forward, so make it minus and bring it, bring the softbox, bring the softbox, overhead softbox backwards towards, towards the screen, towards you, and then make it like rotate it so it looks like it's rotating towards the the um the letter and all you gonna do is do the same something similar with the lights as well just rotate it towards you and not rotate it as much but give it a little small rotation now if you zoom back in you will see it gives it not such a big effect on lighting but it's pretty nice something basic and it's quick to render as well so yeah because if you have like a computer like mine not so good then yes yeah, useful because it's kind of easy to render as well kind of quick to render now what you want to do is once you've got this perfect um, adjust your angles and then now you can start your animation so what you want to do is go into A and then click on the chords tab here Right, as you can see, if you do this, click on A, click on the chords tab, X, Y, Z, and you can see here chords. This is the rotations, that's the, I don't even know what that is, and that's the position. <coughs> All you're going to be using is the position and the rotations. Now, what you want to do is get um, the A on one corner of the screen, but take it off screen. And what you want to do is you click the four arrows at the top on the A, cl and click on the A and do not click any of the arrows but if you can see here there's a, there's a small little cube and if you use that you can drag it around like that so just drag it off screen and as you can see the numbers will go immense or you can just copy what's on screen there to make it go in that corner of the screen and what you want to do is the same with B but on the opposite side so on the top and now as you can see there's nothing on screen so what you want to want what you want to fly in first or at the same time I was going to show you guys how to do it at the same time so go to click on A, the A letter, and make 
each of the um, right to the, the rotations, the H, B, and P, uh, 360 on each of them. As you can see, I've done. And what you guys, what you want to do now is do click on make a keyframe, the key, the little red circle with the key in it. And as you can see, they will go all red. Drag it forward to where you want it to fly in. So I'm going to do 50 frames. So head over to 50 frames. So 30, rem remember, 30 frames in one second. So that's one second. And then two seconds will be 60 frames. So I'm just going to do in just under two seconds. So now what you want to do is make all of these zero, 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 zero. And now keyframe it again. And as you can see, if I play that, you can see the way it flies in now as you can see the way it flies in all right now we're going to do is um, do that same thing with the B and you might want a little delay so they don't fly in exactly at the same time but if you want I'm just going to show you guys at that same time but if you want you can adjust the click on the blue thing and you can change it to when it how fast you want it to fly in. if you click here like say I'll put on 15 instead of 50 look how, look how quick it flies in. you can barely see it so I'm going to drag it back to 50 so you can only really see the way it flies in now put the timeline back to 0 and click on B and now what you want to do is do the same make it 360 and 360 and 360 <coughs> just like you did with A now as just like before you click the keyframe bring it forward to 50 frames as you can see that has stopped as well and make it each of these zero 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 just like before and now click the keyframe button again and if you play that if you play that over you can see both of them flying and at 50 frames they will meet both of them <coughs> so I wanna make that just a bit slower so I'm gonna make it two seconds I'm gonna drag the little blue line blue little circle dot to 60 frames so that makes it exactly two seconds so that's one second and then that's two seconds so that's about it that's the basic cinema 4d stuff so what you want to do is head over to back to render settings and go down to out go to output and make this manual the frame range now make it from zero to about 150 frames so because because you're going to be editing in after effects you want some frames extra so you can add twitches flares and like a youtube link in after effects so i'm just going to do 200 frames so it's better to do more just in case you don't want it you don't want it to be too less because then you're going to have to re-render in cinema 4d you would rather do more and then cut it the bit you don't want out so yeah it's just good to just do 200 frames and if you don't need any then when you're editing it in Sony Vegas or After Effects you can cut out then so yeah just like before full render output 128 by 720 resolution 100 30 frame rate frame rate has to be 30 and the range frame is from 0 frames to 200 frames <coughs> and just save it make sure it's quick time movie which can be found there and to make it QuickTime movie, you need QuickTime Player installed onto your computer. So yeah, get that. And then Alpha Channel clicked and Straight Channel clicked, and then hit the render button, and it should start rendering. So that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Um, uh, so this will be this um, intro. I mean, the next part to this tutorial will be. Uh, made straight after I finish rendering this but will be up two to three days after I upload this because I want like a few days gap so the, each video can get views so yeah hope you guys found this tutorial useful I know it wasn't like an advanced intro tutorial but it's like for the basics and then if you I'll just show you guys how to do the after effects stuff and the sound effects stuff etc so yeah so don't complain that this is easy blah 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 because it is already so like i said it is a basic tutorial it's nothing really hard to do it's just i don't want it maybe in the future i might do an advanced intro tutorial but yeah we'll see about that but anyway so guys hope you guys like this um tutorial and please could you comment and like and if you're not subscribed then please hit, and if you can and if you'd like to head over to my channel and subscribe it would i would appreciate it and just like i said before thanks for 900 subs and 
that's about it so thanks guys peace out bye